All right, um, let us now look at separable differential equations uh, from a slightly different uh, point of view, right? Um, so what if our differential equation has the, the following form? So the left-hand side is just the derivative of the unknown function, and the right-hand side is the product of two uh, expressions, one in terms of just the independent variable, and the second expression is just the everything is in terms of the dependent variable. So in that case, of course, we can just, you know, uh, sorry, um, we can just divide the whole thing by, by gy, or so which is the, the same as to moving g, g of y to the left hand side. So we by, I don't know, you, you can think of it of multiplying both left side, left hand side and the right hand side by one over g of one, right? And by, by doing this, you will of course get this form where you you can think of it as you know one over g of y as as being the this p p of y right so p of y is is one over g of y uh, and then it, it basically uh, becomes the familiar form of um, uh, of a separable differential equation right so the only issue here is that what happens if uh, we divide by zero, right? So if g of y is zero, then, um, you know, it is possible that, that we are going to divide by zero. So example, right? So suppose that, uh, I don't know, g of y is something like, I don't know, y square minus 3y plus 2, something, something like this, right? So what happens if it is zero? Now, um, if g of y is zero, it means that uh, we are going to get some um, equation on y. And th th this is a usual algebraic equation. It's, it's not a differential equation, right? So it's just a, some expression in, in y equals zero. And then we can basically solve for y to, to find for which values of y uh, does the right-hand side become zero. So in, in this case, the, this is a quadratic equation and its solutions are like one or two, right? So y can be one or two. Well, um, am I right? So, uh, yeah, I think I think so. Yeah, one, one and two. Well, so for these particular values of, of y, this trick is not going to work. So the, the trick when we multiply by one divided by g of y, that operation is not going to work because we are div well, we are divided by zero, right? So, uh, but it means that. We kind of just need to check what's going on if y equals one or y equals two. So we, we just need to, to check whether these two um, two uh, functions, whether these two constant functions are solutions of the differential equations. And if they are, then it means that we should just add them, include them into into the list of all possible solutions. And if they are not, then we just discard them. Well, in and of course, you, you you can easily see that if g of y is is uh, y square minus three y plus two, and if y is one, then its derivative is zero. So then the left hand side is zero, the right hand side is zero. If y is two, then the, the same thing. So basically, it means that uh, we should just include those values of y for which g of y becomes zero um, into the list of all solutions of our differential equations as constant solutions. So uh, here is how it works on a particular example. Um, so anyway, so here is the, the recipe and here is how it works on, on a particular example, right? So uh, how do we find a general solution of this differential equation, right? So the differential equation is dy over dx equals minus two times y minus one squared times x. Right, so what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, to move this to the left hand side by basically by uh, dividing by, well, to be honest, it is more convenient to divide by minus y minus one squared. So I'm going to multiply by minus one over minus, uh, sorry, y minus one squared. So doing that, I'm going to get uh, minus dy over one, sorry, y minus one squared equals two x dx. And then I'm going to integrate both the left-hand side and the right-hand side. And then the left-hand side is going to have one over y minus one 
now now you see why I I wanted the minus on the left hand side because now when I integrate it uh, it, it disappears right so the antiderivative is just one over uh, y minus one I kind of anticipated it so equals x square plus constant All right so uh, now uh, we can solve the, this for y so um, taking the reciprocals we get a one on um, sorry. y minus 1 equals 1 divided by x squared plus constant, which means that y equals uh, 1 plus 1 over x squared plus constant. Right? So this is a general solution, but it's not the only general solution. Because again, so when we divide by um, uh, y minus 1 squared, so we cannot divide by 0, right? So which means that we, this only works. If y is not not equal to one, right? So, so, but what if y equals to one, right? So this only works uh, if y does not equal to one. But what if y equals one? And you know, if y equals one, we actually get a correct solution, right? So because uh, the derivative of the constant one is going to be zero, so the left hand side is zero, and the right hand side. Is going to be minus two times y is one one minus one squared times x which is also zero right so uh, the constant solution y equals one is also a correct correct solution to this differential equation so which means that the uh, general solution is either uh, y is the, the, this formula or y equals one and this is the really the the, the, the full solution of um, our differential equation. So this is the answer. So the complete answer is either y is the, the given formula or y equals one. And notice that, you know, there, there is no value of c that uh, yields the answer y equals one because no matter what c is, um, the formula y equals one plus one over x squared plus c is not going to be a constant one. Okay. So basically that was the printed version and now if you now want to solve the initial value problem then basically you you, you have your, um, well, I guess, uh, and again, so I, I could start, start over and um, maybe I, I should, should start over a little bit, right? So before solving for y, I got the following expression. So 1 over y minus 1. Because it, it is the, the same differential equation, so only that there is just, just and the initial condition, right? So now, uh, after separating the variables and integrating, I, I got the following expression. So uh, 1 divided by 1 minus 1 equals x squared plus c. So or y equals 1. Now, so which of the two um, alternatives is actually going to, to be implemented in, in this case, right? So notice that the initial value of uh, y is three, right? So it means that it's not one, right? So, and since it is not one, it means that we are working with uh, the, the, the first case scenario, right? Uh, so, in this case, y of 1 equals 3, so letting y to be 3 and x to be 1, I, I get 1 divided by uh, 3 minus 1 equals 1 square plus, plus c, right? So the left-hand side is, is really 1 half equals 1 plus c, so c equals um, negative 1 half, I guess, yeah. So 1 divided by y minus 1 equals x squared, well, minus 0 0.5. So then solving for y, I'm going to get y minus 1 equals 1 over x squared minus 0 0.5. And y equals 1 plus 1 over x squared minus 0 0.5. And if you don't like fractions, you, you can rewrite it as 1 plus 2 over 2x squared minus 1, if you want. 
All right. Um, So this is kind of a different version. Um, so where we solve for y first, and then we substitute the the actual value, All right? Uh, so uh, let me now now just just give you the um, well a different initial value problem, right? So in here um, again, so. Uh, the, the first steps would be the same. So the first steps are just to solve the differential equation. And the to do it, we separate the variables and integrate. And then we count, account, try to account for constant solutions. Right? So when we separate the variables and integrate, we get y1 over y minus 1 equals x squared plus c. Or um, y equals 1. All right, um, so for the given initial condition, so which of the two possibilities uh, is actually going to happen? Well, and the initial value of y is 1, and so which means that it is the second possibility. So which means that in this case, the answer is just y equals 1. So this is the answer. Now, this is already the final answer, but just for your, you know, so what, what, but what, what's going to happen if you try to use the first alternative instead, right? So what if I'm going to do it just to show you that you will not get a, a solution. So what if it were the first alternative? So then you would have the, the following. So one over y minus one equals uh, 179 squared plus constant, um, right? And then you, you need to replace y with its initial value. And the initial value uh, is is 1, right? So, and, you know, basically you, you have a division by 0 here, which basically renders it in, impossible to, to solve. All right. So that's it about um, solving um, uh, separable differential equations.